Good morning, everyone, and most welcome to the FAA Future Agriculture Day. <coughs> um, besides the fact that we have a, a Swedish University for Agricultural Sciences, which is on the whole striving every day with the future of, of the food production and related issues, we also have this. Uh, Framtidens Landbruk, Future Agriculture Strategic Platform at the SLO. Uh, and the purpose of it is to, uh, to uh, work across the disciplinaries and faculties at the university with all kinds of knowledge-based activities to achieve some kind of cross-disciplinarity in the ways that we address the the grand challenges and opportunities of food production and farming. Uh, and so we have seminars and we have research activities and uh, workshops and uh, uh, a number of, uh, we have PhD courses on cross-disciplinarity and, and so at the university. And we also have a number of activities relating to the society outside the university with conferences in the regions that like uh, future agriculture in Dalarna or Skåne, cooperating with regional uh, organizations, etc. So, and with stakeholders in general outside uh, the SLU. F the FA Day is uh, a key event for us. It's always in October and it always have a broad and urgent topic. And we try to make it a kind of a, an institution. So today, um, we have this topic, agriculture in a four degree warmer world. And it's b based on, we got the idea when we saw this World Bank report turn down the heat, uh, which we f found was a, a, a kind of a, a key, is r key message from a key institution. Um, and um, we also have the, the, the fresh IPCC report as a background, of course, when we try to take those grand issues down to the, the earth in, 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 in Sweden or in the north, relating to our, our current agriculture. Um, this conference has been planned with a little committee with Panilla Jonsson, the program coordinator in future agriculture, and Ulf Magnusson from the steering committee, uh, Pelle Fredriksson, Christine Thoreid, and some others involved, basically. And uh, I'll just remind you one practical thing that uh, after lunch, you start in the building across, the, you walk out on the bridge for the seminars, or in, not in this building. That is uh, one thirty. So most welcome, all of you, and we hope that you will have a, a good day today, and we think so as well. And I g then give the mic to Ulf. Thank you, Eric. Again, most welcome to all of you. Um, a little bit about the layout today. We have two keynote speakers this morning. It's uh, Dr. Hermann Lotzekampen and uh, Per Erik Ober. Uh, and we are very delighted to have the both of you here. And then we have li a little bit of uh, flexible activities um, uh, over the rest of the day. And then in the afternoon, um, we will put this context of a plus four warmer word in, um, in a Swedish perspective and challenge, and or hearing comments from, from some Swedish stakeholders, what's their plans and, and, and so. Uh, so you're most welcome to that kind of discussion at uh, 10 minutes past three. Um, <clears throat> as Eric said here, we, we thought, or maybe all of you are thinking or feeling like that, that the, the, the abstractions or, or the level of the climate issue discussion is too complex. How is it related to the down-to-earth here? Uh, thing. At least I, I, I got a feeling that our politicians are thinking like that and don't care. It's too complex for them to deal with. Uh, that is my personal um, uh, um, observation. Uh, so our ambition here today is to, to, to put it more into 
to reality, if you if you like to to say it, or to a local perspective, also in Sweden, that has been our ambition. We we'll see if we can can reach that goal. 